How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Sun, and welcome back to another episode of the Japan Campaign Isolation Isolation Isolationist Japan in Europe and Universalis Four, um, where we are at war with Malacca, and we're going to vassalize them, which is only possible because of the ability we got for our Splendor. So I'm pretty for that, you know. Converting provinces, we're working on uh, converting another nation to our religion. We might do that. Uh, well, can't really do that just yet. I think what we'll do is we'll probably force Kedah to be our religion or something like that um, when we're at war with Pasai, because they'll be in that war. Hmm, <clears throat> are we going to have any have any any Sulu rebels here? No. Okay, in that case, we should go ahead and get you and bring you over here for that next war. Because that one's going to be a little more difficult than this, even. Pretty sure, at least. Okay. In any case, I wish that they added it so that the game, in this game, it would do what it did in CK2, where you would get the, um, when, when you click the button to attach to the boat, then it would automatically select the fleet. Why, why wouldn't you do that? If that's not what the player wanted, it's not like it's going to annoy them too much. They're just going to click elsewhere and whatever else they were going to click anyways. It just seems like a good change, you know, it saved time and it would do the same here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's, all right, well, let's go with you there and then, no. You there, you there. My fingers are a little sloppy today. My U4 is not on point right now. You know? Um, we are in the right place to be blockading everything. So that's good. We might as well actually go in here and be sieging both at once. There's no reason not to be with 60,000 troops. Mainly though, we just need to start building up for the inevitable war with Ming. I think we, we want to stay Ming's tributary for a while, possibly until we've consolidated all of Southeast Asia. Um, but I don't know. Maybe we don't even want to wait that long. But the thing is, that's one thing, is that Ming, um, Ming is stronger. However, the tributary system doesn't really help them as long as everyone else stays tributaries. Then you have free reign to kill all their tributaries, which is like everyone so basically basically we're safe from europeans as long as we want to just eat the rest of all of this <laughs> which is kind of interesting so we might go to like you know we might even take over all of briatia for all i know probably not i do want to take some manchu land and make a manchurian um a promoted culture probably that's kind of what i'm thinking but um i don't know i'm gonna take a sip for my coffee real quick well in a second. First, I'm actually going to go ahead and say that I want to claim these three provinces. Oh my god, I forgot how much development there is here. Okay, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee now. Mm-hmm. Oh, there we go. And we fought their navy again. Of course, and now we're going to smash them. One more province, and we'll have that another. We'll have another uh, one of the objectives for the age done. Okay, we're gonna smash up their army real quick. Oh my god, we stack wiped them. That's amazing. That's incredible. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and bring you down there. We're gonna full occupy them. No, you know what? We shouldn't do that. We should keep their boats alive so then they can use them. Um, excuse me? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. We can't vassalize them because they are a tributary. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, you know, that's, and that's fine though. I, okay, yeah, you know, some of you in the comments might mention, like might say, hey, why are you doing this? I'm sorry, well, because obviously I'm not going to be able to see the comments right now while I'm recording this. That's actually fine, but yeah, at the same time, that was dumb of me. Johor has all of these provinces except for these three, so I think that's fine. What we do is we... Um, in that, I don't know, it, it could be a lot worse, let's be honest here. Uh, we can't enforce religion on them, why not? Hmm, is it too too big, I guess? I guess they're too big. Uh, so anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to take all of these provinces. That's a lot of diplo just to do this, but I don't know. I think it's fine. 
And uh, beyond that, I just take a whole bunch of... Oh my god, I forgot how much money they have. They're super rich. Um, yeah, just take all that stuff and... Uh, yeah, do it. Why not, man? Um, well, we don't have to take all this. We could take less and then in another war feed them back the rest, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Reconquest CB is better to use. Okay. So now you come in here and you go boom, boom. Uh, that's a lot of people we could release. Oh, it's every single daimyo. That's why. Johor. I don't want them to follow the Sunni faith, but that's okay. We can convert them later. So, Johor, I uh, have given you new life. Hopefully you're okay with that, dog. They are an emirate. We should be able to marry them, though. Yeah. And they're gonna be... Oh, we got a 435 ruling now. That's real nice. I'll tell you what, that's real nice. We're gonna just raise that now. Uh, yeah, dog. Take it. Expansionist! Nice! That's really good. Bruneian separatists. That's okay. We'll go and fight them. Uh, yeah, there we go. So, Johor, I'm going to be feeding you a lot of land, buddy. You're going to be real strong, relatively uh, speaking. And then I'm going to eat you <laughs> to top it all off. Don't you worry, buddy. Don't you freaking worry. Hmm. Maybe we should cool it on the points a little bit until we tech up. Um... We don't have any rivals, do we? And yeah, no possible rivals because everyone is a tributary. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's how it goes nowadays, you know. Don't don't question it. Um. Hmm. Is that all one state there? Chubu. That's crazy. Maintenance. Let's look at maintenance. We should build some of these buildings that I never build really. Uh. Yeah, Chubu is a ton of development. Yeah. Chubu and Hokuriku. Yeah, that one. Okay. So let's go ahead and say in Chobu and Hokuriku. There you go. You guys get buildings taxation-wise. Manila. Yeah. Izumo. Oh, we should just sort by that. Izumo... Uzin, Awari, uh, Manpower, of course, you always want me to Setsu, that's right. Okay, let's go ahead and say Shipyard, we should, I think we just want this whole island down here to be like, you know, shipbuilding central. I think that's fine. Um, production, Kyoto definitely gets one. Suo, nice, okay. Uh, trade, we already... There's nothing super good right there for now, so that's fine. We need to build more manufactories too, actually. So let's see. So what's the highest here? 31. 29. 50. Or 0.5, you know, whatever. It's 50. Let's be real. 50. Yeah, do it, man. Cool. Well, we, we're building up our infrastructure quite a bit. Oh, you know what? Our legitimacy is, like, not so great right now, is it? <laughs> okay. That's that's fine. Don't worry about it. That's probably one reason that we have, like, rebels and stuff. Among other reasons, but whatever. Yeah, so we want to have a claim on... I, I don't know, man. <clears throat> hmm... Religious could be a good idea group. Let's be honest, you know, like I I really like religious like I Think we talked about this in the past and I said the same exact thing. So I'm probably being repetitive but like Religious is really good as any country where you're surrounded by people of other religion We are literally the only Shinto country in the world besides ones that we forced to be Shinto uh, Which is none right now, but um, we're the only Shinto country in the world Why wouldn't we? go religious. It'll help so much with a lot of stuff, including the 
other what was, what was the other thing I was gonna say? Uh, well, one is like culture conversion. I believe isn't the the last one culture conversion cost. That's really good. I yeah okay. You know what? I'm con I'm convinced now. Next idea we go is gonna be religious. Put that in the back of your brain, poetry. Hmm. I need to remember that for the whenever the next session is or whatever, because it's probably not gonna have time to do this this time. But uh. Too many military leaders. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna fire you. <laughs> Sorry, I just hired you, but I'm gonna fire you. Um, we want the clergy to have some more land, right? Yeah, let's go over here, maybe. We could give them Manila, but why don't we give them this one right there? They need to have some more provinces. I want them to, to be loyal enough, uh, or whatever. Let's see. An Inquisitor would actually be pretty good. You know what? That's fine. Let's just let's not worry about getting up to 150, even though it is pretty useful. Generalship, all right. And then we want the Bushi. Give him that one. Oh my God, Tokachi is 10 manpower. Yeah, dude, take it. That's it's amazing. Cool. And let's save this for the tech for now. Um. But yeah, global trade is the next tech, of course, remember that. Making good money right now. So we have that one. How many provinces are we going to take in one war from these guys? It can get pretty expensive pretty quick. I think we're going to take this Riau state. The thing is, you, you almost certainly, at all points in time, really want to make all of this stuff states and stuff and make it promoted culture. Maybe not all of it promoted culture, but like basically, kind of what I'm thinking is we make Sumatran a promoted culture. Uh, all right, you're good. I think we make Sumatran a promoted culture or Malayan a promoted culture. And I'm not sure which is better or which is more development rather. Sounds racist when you say which is better, but, but let's just like do a quick cursory glance. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that Sumatran is a slight bit more. The other option is to do both of them though, you know, that's perfectly possible too. I don't know, I kind of, what I'm thinking is we make, um, we're going to have Filipino be, well, it already is promoted. So what we're going to do is I'm pretty sure we're going to take Filipino and convert Taiwan, convert um, Brunei and Luwu. All that land is going to be Filipino. Uh, sorry, I'm reshifting in my seat. So that's all going to be Filipino. But then what do we want to do with Malayan, Sumatran, and Javanese? Because that's like all three of those are huge amounts of development that I do not want to, you know, I don't want to have to culture convert all that. So what I think we'll do is probably, uh, hmm, what about this culture group? Laotian, Khmer, huh, Mon, okay, that's interesting. I don't know, I think what we'll probably end up doing is we'll, um, We'll probably make Malayan a promoted culture. I don't know, man. We might make we might just make all three of those promoted. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't be too uh, averse to that. Um, it's a lot of culture convert or a lot of points for that, but I don't know. It's probably better than culture converting all. Because well, and the other the reason why we're gonna do either culture conversion or promotion is because um, it's like super worth it. For, from like a state's perspective, a trade perspective, and just everything. So, yeah. Let's not worry about that too much right now, though. For now, let's just focus on what we want to eat. Yeah. Okay. You fought those dudes, so you guys can come back over here now. Never mind. You got work to do. Hop, uh, chop, chop, get to it. 
the general in charge. Okay. There you go. And there you go. You have plenty of manpower right now. I do not mind this at all. Okay. Um, it's about to be tech time. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, there you go. So that means we shouldn't have rebels for a while now, at least. Uh, it is tech time now, right? Ooh, what is that? May sabotage recruitment. Cool. Oh, that's nice. It glows which, which one you're about to get. Yeah, that's cool. Also, well, actually, this doesn't matter anymore. I was going to say colonialism should spread faster because we're about to have Diplotech 15. That's actually, like, if anything, a bad thing, but whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really hope that we can get, like, you know, at least manufacturing and enlightenment in our country. Uh, but whatever. Global trade, I kind of doubt we could do, but we might be able to. Uh, let's see. Well, hold on. Let's go back to that for a second. Where's global trade? Hmm. So, okay. Huh. So Nippon has to be the... It has to be your capital trade node. Which I find annoying. Especially since that, that's the main problem right now is that we can't see... We can't see Europe. If I could see Europe, I could see which how much trade was in the Genoa node and whatnot, but I can't. And that's a real big problem in this situation. Okay, let's go ahead and go to war with you, Pasai. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dog. It must be done. We have three claims, right? Only two. Hmm. We might just only take two provinces then. It's going to take military tech right now. Because it's so important. Okay. Well, let's just wait a little bit. Okay. Truce is up, is up with you in a little bit. I have not been fabricating you on you very much. Oh, no, I have been. Never mind. I'm stupid. <laughs> That's stupid of me. Sorry. Okay. So Pyongyang is the next uh, largest up in development. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, declare on you, I'm pretty sure. And go take Sayak. You are going to go there. Uh, you can't go by land or land there already or yet. Whatever. Okay, hold on. First, we got to deal with the navy. Okay, there they are. Go to Jambi. They're going on to an island? <laughs> Dude, do it, man. I, I'm fine with that. We have a female heir, Tama. Huh, interesting. Okay, that's cool. Well, I mean, if you want to trap your own army everywhere that on there, that's, you know, do it, man. I'm not going to stop you. I mean, we're just going to stack wipe your whole army then. That's perfectly fine by me. I think we're going to go ahead and just get rid... No, we need an admiral. We'd like to keep an admiral, at least. I think we get rid of our combat general. Siege is more important right now, honestly. <clears throat> Keda. Hmm. There we go. We're on the Siege of Jambi. Okay. And now we're going to go in and, you know, stack wipe their army. Sorry about that, dog. It's, it's, what's ha it's what has to happen, though. Oh, that's not their whole army. Really? Huh. The more you know. Well, 
Well, we'll stack up the rest of their army then. Okay, that works by you know that works by me. Okay, let's go ahead and get you up here now. They have a large navy. I'm a little surprised, honestly. Shouldn't be. They're quite powerful and rich. I think we're definitely going to make Sumatra in a promoted culture. The only question is then, like, do you want to make Malakan a promoted culture as well? Well, how many promoted cultures do you get over the course of the game? We have two out of four right now. We're never going to make Ainu promoted. We're never going to make, like... Uh, well, let's look real quick. So as far as other culture, we're going to make Man Manchu is almost certainly going to be promoted. Um, these other ones are all so relatively small... In, well, development-wise, they're quite large, obviously. There's a lot of development in China, but... Um, but, like, there's not that many of each relative to, like, stuff like Sumatran or whatever. So what we're probably going to do is we're going to make Manchu promoted. Um, as far as, like, East Asia, though, I think Manchu is it. We're going to convert everything else to, like, Manchu or, or Filipino or something. Um, if we ever even worry about converting it. But, like, for the other stuff... For other stuff, I, that leaves us with one slot early on, and more slots later. So Sumatra, I think, is our is the obvious choice. And then I think we'll probably convert Javanese, or just not worry about it at all. In any case, maybe convert Javanese to Sumatran. We'll, we'll maybe make Malayan promoted, and then spread Malayan up into this area because this is not a whole bunch of development, not relative to. Malayan, you know, so we'll make a Malayan promoted and feed them the rest of like all of Southeast Asia <laughs> Could be you know could be fun. We'll figure out something. It doesn't really matter in the end I just kind of like min maxing stuff like that Figuring out what's the best way to do something or at least the coolest way All right, we have the, the siege of Pasai, so we're gonna go ahead and stack wipe them Okay, stack wiped him pretty easily, I must say. Let's go ahead and bring you over here. And, hey, that's nice. When do we get our next col or uh, global settler in case? We don't get another colonist, but fairly soon, actually. We're going to be taking military ideas soon, so that's good. Hmm, let's go ahead and bring you here, put you there. I'm not I'm not done with you yet. You think you're you think I'm done with you? Hey, Ponte Pontianac has become self sustaining. Cool. Why not? Um, where is the next best colony to get? We had a mission, didn't we? Yeah, Panai. Mahoy Minoy. Whatever. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, our truce with Korea has ended. That's what I like to hear. Hmm. Okay, we did hire an Inquisitor. Half price Inquisitor. We still can't really afford him. But I'm going to get him anyways. Because <laughs> I don't know what's good for me. I'm gonna just go all out right now with money and stuff. That's okay. We could probably handle it. Maybe. <laughs> Not sure, but whatever. Also, this episode went a little over on time. So I'm gonna go and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. Please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. Come back next time, uh, and we'll continue on with some more of the Isolationist Japan campaign. So until then, bye bye.